G'day all. Welcome to this video featuring one of Australia's more colourful species of reptile. A gecko with the amazing ability to self-amputate when provoked. A gecko that is both common and widespread across Australia. With a scientific name under Woodysaurus millii, or more commonly known as the thick-tailed gecko. These strikingly coloured nocturnal reptiles, covered in lumps and bumps known as tubercles, are a class of reptile in the family of Carpodactylidae. More specific, this family is in the lizard family, a family of 32 described species of Carpodactylid geckos spread throughout Australia, varying in colours, characteristics and habitat. Under the genus Underwoodysaurus, there are two species, the Pilbara barking gecko and the feature of this video, the thick-tailed gecko. A very common and often communal species of gecko, the thick-tailed geckos are found in all mainland states of Australia, however distribution is less common in tropical areas, preferring the arid, drier areas of the southern regions of Australia. The genus name Underwoodysaurus has nothing to do with where it lives, as it doesn't live under wood, however I guess it does look a bit dinosaur-like. Underwoodysaurus is named in honour of British herptologist Garth Leon Underwood. With the species name Millioi, named in honour of French sailor and naturalist Pierre Bernard Millius. A distinctive member of the gecko group of lizards, endemic to Australia, its body long and slender, with well defined limbs leading to five digits, loosely scaled skin, are washed with colour and covered in tubercles. The upper body part is mainly reddish brown in colour, with multiple banding draped across its upper body part, made up of cream and yellow dots. These dots, perfectly arranged by nature to sit centred on one of the many tubercles covering the body. The reddish brown upper body at times fade into pink and purple sides before turning to a faded grey underbody. At one end sits the head, with its wide opening mouth full of tiny teeth, taking up half the circumference of its head. In comparison to its head, its eyes are large, with these complex structures developing over time to not just see clearly during poor light, but also in full colour. In the right light, the amazing marble pattern of the iris is visible, and if you look closely enough, the pupil is contracted to form a vertical slit. Like all geckos in the Carpodactylidae family, the thick-tailed gecko do not have eyelids and are unable to blink. Their eyes covered with a clear spectacle and is cleaned with the wipe of the tongue. Their ears are widespread and comprises of a tunnel structure which runs through their heads. This tunnel structure measures the incoming sound waves which bounce around and gives the gecko the ability to work out which direction the sound comes from. At the other end is its distinctive plump bulbous shaped tail. Similar to its body, the tail is also covered in tubercles with bands of cream and yellow dots. At this end, this is where both carnage and magic happens, as these little creatures have a secret ability. The thick-tailed gecko, along with all other geckos in this family, have the ability to self-amputate. Yes, you've heard that correctly. They can self-amputate, a self-defense mechanism known as autotomy. Defined in the dictionary, autotomy means the casting off of a body part by an animal under threat. Over time, geckos have developed a weakness where the body meets the tail. This weakness is called the fracture line. If a point on the tail is hit or stressed, the muscle along the fracture line will tear apart from one another, completely detaching. This autotomy has evolved so that there is no blood loss. If autotomy occurs and the tail detaches, it will twitch and wiggle around for a short period of time until the muscle completely dies. This movement, after the tail has become detached, creates a distraction to any predators, giving the gecko enough time to flee. The thick-tailed gecko, along with all others in this family, have developed the amazing ability to then regenerate the tail. Over time it will grow back, often growing back slightly different in shape and colour, as seen with this one, its tail lighter in colour and hardly any tubercles. As opposed to this one, its thick, long, bulbous shaped tail, dark in colour with multiple banding. Being nocturnal, during the day thick-tailed geckos hide in confined spaces, such as spider holes, clumps of grass and rock crevices, such as this one, hiding deep in the rock crevice. 
Once the sun has set, thick-tailed geckos awake from their daily slumber, coming out to forage on insects. With a clutch size of two eggs, which are soft and parchment-like, and must be deposited in a sheltered, humid environment to avoid drying out. Incubation is around 60 days. The newly hatched thick-tailed geckos are independent and left to fend for themselves from day one. Here are a couple of baby geckos, not much more than a few months old. The thick-tailed gecko has a voice in the form of a squeak or a rasping bark, uttered during social encounters or when provoked, which is where it gets its other common name from, the barking gecko. And this brings me to the end of my video. Hopefully you found it interesting enough to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. See you next time. Thanks for watching.